Alright, so before I get this story started, I just wanted to remind you that we do have a P.O. box and the address is right down there in the description. Please send me shit. I feel lonely and not validated when people aren't sending me profuse amounts of goddamn drawings and other stuff. Now, let's talk about the time I was hit by a car. That's right. Many things have happened in my life and most of those things hurt me. Whether I do it to myself or a car does it to me. Granted, it was totally my fault, but that's not the point. So let's wind the clock back to around 7th grade. Now I couldn't tell you exactly what year that is because I'm really bad of keeping track uh, of numbers. You see, numbers are like a foreign language to me. They kind of elude me. 2 plus 2, what does that mean? I wasn't the best student in the world and we have YouTube to thank for that, as well as me being an idiot. So we've wound our little clock back to the 7th grade. I was probably like 6 years old at the time, does that sound right? That's probably right. And at the time, of course, instead of having to drive all the way across town to get to a school like I did when I was in elementary school, weird little factoid there for you, I was actually close enough to start biking to school. Now, this may not be the same way for everybody, because it seems to be different all around, but uh, at my middle school it was 7th and 8th grade. I know for a lot of people 6th, 7th, and 8th is what middle school normally is, but for me it was 7th and 8th. And it seriously took that long to convince my mother to allow me to ride a bicycle to school. Why? Because at the elementary school I went to, it just so happened to be in the worst neighborhood in the city. You see, I grew up in a neighborhood called Felony Flats. Not even kidding. Felony Flats in Spokane, Washington had the highest, like, murder and drug-related whatever crimes. But that's not where my middle school was. My middle school was actually in a slightly better part of the city, it was much farther north, not down in the, the southern ghetto of the town. Now, I had ridden my bike maybe six or seven times up to this point, so I felt like I was, uh, I had the route down pretty well, you know, I was, I was doing pretty good. And on this particular day, I thought I would be a little badass and evil Knievel my way all the way there. Now, a little factoid about the city I grew up in. Uh, there are plenty of bike lanes in the city, it's just there aren't nearly enough. It's a super bikeable city and it's great to bicycle around. It's just very hard to because most of the time you either have to be right in the middle of the fucking road or on the sidewalk. And of course, me being a 7th grader, you're damn right I'm gonna be riding on the sidewalk. I don't have the leg power to keep up with a freaking Ford Fiesta, come on. So I'm riding along the sidewalk at the breakneck speed of probably like 13 miles per hour. And I make the mistake of uh, not stopping at a corner. Now on this particular block there was a building that stretched all the way to the corner. So you couldn't just glance over to your left and see down the street just to double check as you were driving up to the corner there. So I come speeding right across the street, wasn't paying any attention, again being a, a complete idiot. And as I turn left, yes, I decided now would be a good time to look both ways across the street when I'm already like 40% of my way across. And there just so happens to be a minivan there. And what does that minivan do? Well, it slams on the brakes and... Well, it hits me! Now, at this point, things are going pretty slow-mo for me. You see, the van made impact with the very center of the bicycle. And as everything slows down and I float through the air like the big Aryan vegetable that I am, I take this time to reflect on my life and the horrible things that I've done. And since there wasn't really a whole lot for me to think about, my life was over in about an instant there. And very, very quickly things pick uh, their speed right back up and I crash right into the asphalt. Now this right here is a prime example of why you should always wear your goddamn helmet. Because if I hadn't worn my helmet, I might have had to go to the hospital. Now, it wasn't the crashing onto the ground or being hit by the van that really sucked for me about this situation. Sure, it sucked, but it's something that I can tell people in the future. I can, I can tell my children, wear a helmet, you idiots. Because your, your smart old dad, uh, he did, and he was hit by a car. It was just a poor mom taking her young daughter to school that morning. Looked like she was maybe in the fourth grade or something like that. Scared the shit out of her. Scared both of them more than it scared me. And I was pretty freaked out. The poor woman comes running out of her car like immediately like, Oh my god, are you okay? Are you okay? And all I could say was, yes, yes, I'm sorry. That was my fault. I was not paying attention. I actually did. I said that over and over again. Like, I'm sorry. It was my fault. I wasn't looking around the corner being stupid. Because we're kind of keeping with the theme of me being completely retarded. I mean, it's something I'm good at. Come on, just let me have that. 
And she, she's just, you know, having a bit of a panic because she's a mom. She understands how this kind of thing is. You know, you get really freaked out when your kid gets hit by a goddamn car. And most mothers have empathy with each other. So as she's sitting there, she notices that uh, the chain on my bike came off. So she takes an extra 10 minutes out of her day to put it back on my bike for me. And that made me feel even worse because she got that bike chain shit all over her hands and all that stuff. She was super nice about it. She was great. 10 out of 10, would get hit by again. Then after I continued to apologize profusely for the next few minutes, uh, we finally went our separate ways and I was on time to school. So I guess the moral of this story would basically just be wear a fucking helmet or look both fucking ways before you cross the street. And with that, we have come to the end of today's video. Always remember, if you even somewhat enjoyed the video, consider dropping a like. And if you really enjoyed the video, consider subscribing. And until the next time I remember being hit or hurt or beat or embarrassed by something or someone, I'll be seeing you. Hey.